The war in Vietnam was the most contentious time in American history since the Civil War. Over three million proud men and women served their country. Unfortunately, in the political debate, the Vietnam veteran was left on the battlefield. True stories of rejection from their communities further deepened the Vietnam veteran's participation in his or her war experience. To this day, the coded exchange between two Vietnam veterans is welcome home. This is a necessary exchange because the only person who welcomed home the Vietnam veteran was a fellow Vietnam vet. 2005 is the 30th anniversary of the end of the Vietnam War. It's time we remember the patriotism and valor of the young men and women who served their country. It is time, as a country, we say, welcome home. What has remained for more than 30 years has been a hole in the heart of America. And now is the time for healing. Now is the time to welcome home the only veterans group that has never been officially welcomed home in American history. The Vietnam veterans served with courage and conviction and selfless giving in the same tradition as my father and your father and their fathers before them and mothers. They deserve this national homecoming. It is our duty, I believe, yours and mine, to make this dream a reality. It is a duty born out of love. And it is the right thing to do. And so now I invite you to join us in Branson next year, June 13th through the 19th, 2005, in saying thank you to our fallen brothers and sisters on the other side of that wall. And while it's been a long time coming. To those Vietnam veterans on this side of the wall, welcome home. It's been a long time coming. Welcome home. Now welcome home. This is for you, Daddy. I took my love and I took it down I climbed a mountain and I turned around And I saw my reflection in the snow-covered hills Till the landslide brought me down Oh, mirror in the sky, what is
Bring me. 